Hello there. Welcome to tonight's episode of Amnesia. I am Aaron, your GM. Uh, this is a game where anything can happen and nobody knows exactly what that anything is at all. Yeah. Uh, my guest today is Atlanta. Say hello. Hello. Excited to be here. I wanted to play this for so long, so this is going to be fun. It will. <laughs> yes. Yes, it will. It's going to be so good. You're going to throw things at me and I'm going to be like, ah, how can I avoid this or not avoid this? Just jump into it. Yeah. <laughs> well, is there anything you want to tell the folks at home about any upcoming projects that you uh, want to plug or anything? Of course, of course. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Lanta, um, as Aaron did point out. Um, I'm also known everywhere on the internet as Lanta Fanta, so go for gold. You can find me everywhere, all the fun stuff. Um, but I think most importantly, um, I work here at Level Up TTV to make this can keep going, this beautiful contraption. Um, so yeah, if you guys do enjoy any of the content you do see, do give us a, a follow and, you know, do watch some of the content. We we love when we're able to feed into all of people's kind of enjoyments in life. That's all from me. Cool. Well, I am from Woodcover Gaming and Level Up TV has been nice enough to allow me to do stuff on their channel. But what me mostly do is dice trays and things Pretty. like that. Yeah. I love it. So if you're interested in those, head over to woodcovergaming.com.au to check out things. I love it. And you can also vote for uh, the genre and setting and personality traits that you want to see on this game. Ah, oh, that's yeah. right. The personality traits. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, is that everything? I think that's everything. That's cool. <clears throat> let's let's jump into it then, shall we? Oh be careful. <laughs> right. So in the darkness you can feel the very essence of yourself slipping away and you Hold on to one thing that you know about yourself to be true. And you remember, though it wasn't a good quality about yourself, but it's the only thing you can remember at the time, is that you were a very greedy person. Oh, great. Yes. Of course. The most yes. greedy. Mm -hmm. And everything else flitters away. Then you open your eyes and there's a lot of like uh, sounds around you, just like spark, like ch -ch. and you open your eyes and you can see cables hanging down with like sparks coming out, some uh, paneling from metal sheets and stuff like that. Um, but the most obvious thing that you see when you open your eyes is a large large domed window probably like 20 meters high or so <clears throat> and outside this window you see the planet earth and there's stars all around it you gather you're in space very spacey isn't it um all right uh, I'm going to kind of survey the area that I'm in to see how much damage there is around me. So you look around you, and the first thing that you notice is um, there are a bunch of bodies on the ground around you, and they're not human bodies. They are closest you could uh, describe them would be blue furless monkeys. Okay. Terrifying. Um, they're all, but they're all wearing like a little uniform. Hmm. And you also, now your actual memory may be gone, but your muscle memory still feels intact. And there's something about yourself that just doesn't feel right that you seem to have maybe more limbs than what you're used to. 
Oh, I'm gonna like look over myself just to see um, if I can see anything physically. Uh, you see your hands are blue and you're wearing a very similar uniform to these corpses around you. And you look around and you also see that you have a tail. And you're uh, about three feet tall. Ah. Uh, okay. Alright. Um, I'm going to go and check the, uh, the other bodies to see if they have anything on them. Uh, roll a d4. Uh, it's a beautiful one. Yeah, you're a bit uh, you're a bit flustered with everything that's happening right now. So there's a lot. Yeah, you're you're not really finding anything. Okay, that's all good. Um, all right, I am going to um go out into the kind of the have a look out the the dome window to see if I can see if there's any damage, um, kind of further along, um, on the outside, kind of around. Uh, yeah, so you go to the dome window and you do see there's like black scorch marks and everything. Kind of in like strategic, not strategic, but like random spots around the okay. hole. Um, from my like knowledge, oh, I have no idea. Ignore <laughs> me. Um, oh, this is interesting. Okay, um, what I'm going to do <laughs> then is I'm going to... I'm going to try to find an escape pod or something, so I'm going to try to head down um, a corridor that I'm kind of able to. Sorry about that, guys. My internet just completely cocked it. So much fun. Um, I <coughs> did not hear any descriptions um, after I asked uh, me following the corridor. <laughs> okay, so I'll describe the, the bridge area that you're in. Mm is a very unusual design uh so you've got the big uh domed window and then you've got like a back wall and there is a corridor that leads out through that back wall but there's not really anything here on the ground level but you see looking up that there are coming out of the back wall there are basically little um platforms that have like consoles and stations on them okay and then there's like ladders and bars and everything that you could use to get up to those oh. platforms. Okay. <coughs> um, cool. There is, a console. there is one console down here on the ground level over near it. So you would have been near it when you looked at the window. Okay. Um, I might... Can I... Okay. I might go over to the console and see if there's anything on it that's kind of readable. Or if it says anything. Yeah, it's got a bunch of buttons and levers and stuff on it. And there are words, like scratch marky kind of words, that you don't seem to understand. Oh, huh. okay. Alright, um, I am going to... Um, you said there was a ladder, yeah? Yep. I'm going to go up the ladder. Why not? So, <laughs> um, give me a roll uh, of d6. Six. Because it's a little high off the ground. Ah, uh, four. <clears throat> You're really hesitant to like try to jump up there, and just like, oh, that's too high. But you try anyway, and surprisingly, you can jump that high. Huh. Which is like, that's weird. It's very weird. Um, alright. I am, yeah, gonna climb up there and when I get up to the top, I'm gonna kind of duck my head up just a little bit to kind of look around to see if there is anything up there. Uh, so you get up the top there. As you're up the top, you start hearing um, things in the distance, like noises and little pops and bangs like electrical no they're kind of like mechanically okay. 
But I can't see anything. Like. Uh, at the moment, you're. So you're. So there's a platform. It's got like a console on there where there's more like a display unit or button. Stuff like that. And there's. So it's essentially you're on one level and there's another one to the other side and then there's more. Oh. Two more above you. And then another one above that. Oh gosh. So it's higher up until the ceiling. Okay, okay. Um, I'm probably going to get off on this level um, and check the uh, check the consoles again just to see if there is any anything on those. See if I can read it or anything. Are you going to start like pressing random buttons or anything? Yeah, why not? Let's press some random buttons. There were there was two consoles, right? Let's do the um, one. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say let's do the one closest to me. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so just roll a d. Yeah, 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 yeah. E6. That is a six. Good job. So as you're just there pressing random things. <clears throat> The console like starts to light up, and then this uh, little hologram like comes up before you, and it's of a human man, probably about in his fifties, uh, very well dressed, uh, has an air of self-importance about him, and <clears throat> and he says, "Greetings from Earth." I am President Hutchinson. It is an honor and a privilege to be able to welcome the first extraterrestrial beings to visit our humble planet. I look forward to meeting you in person and forging a long and mutually beneficial friendship. And then the kind of just loops over and over again after that. All right. Okay. Cool. Um. Cool. So I'm not I'm not human, which is awesome. Okay. Um. As you were thinking this. Yeah. You get a memory back. Ooh. And you are <clears throat> lying in your bed as a human. And you are warm and comfortable and happy. And you're there with your husband, Marcus. And you're lying in his arms and you feel safe and relaxed. And you're telling him all about the work that you've been doing. And that you've just had a breakthrough. Uh, using rats as test subjects, you've managed to transfer a rat's consciousness into an artificial body. You're telling him excitedly about what this means for the medical field, how one day people with terminal illnesses could just be transferred into a whole new man-made body. But it's still many, many years away, because right now the rats only survive for about an hour. Right, cool. Um... Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I am going to look on the walls or even on the terminals to see if I can try to find a, like a, a like a med a, like a med bay. Well, let's push some more random buttons. Yep, let's do it. Don't have a D six. Yep. Or oh. yeah, you just start like pushing random things somehow. <clears throat> You do get like a schematic up, luckily to you. So lucky. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you do see the, the uh, you're on the bridge and then you've got like a bunch of quarters behind the bridge and then some like a childcare center, then like a, a mess hall with like a kitchen attached and some other stuff. And you do see a medical bay area all right um is the child queer center on the way to the med bay yep oh okay, cool i might i might head towards that kind of area um just to see if there's anyone alive around there um as you're thinking this you hear um below you <coughs> and see like a bunch of footsteps coming and at the moment, the lighting in here is essentially like a, the, uh, the dull red glow of like emergency lighting kind yep. of thing. Yeah. Um, but then you see like flashlight lights coming through that doorway that was below you. Mm -hmm. And one of the you see coming through there, 
um, human, well, humanoid people wearing, they are spacesuits, but they're kind of got more like a military-esque feel to them. And they all have machine guns on them. Oh, shit. Okay, and these these guys, are they human? They look to be human. They're the right size and bipedal. All right, cool. I'm gonna... Can I hide back in... Are, are they down below me? Near the ladder? Yeah. Okay. So they're not on my level yet. Okay. Um, and is the med bay on this level that I'm on currently, or is it up more? Uh, all you know is is that it's so your that wall that was so there's got the window there then there's a wall there and the platform that you're on is kind of like jutting out from that wall okay yeah. so all you know is that all these other rooms are at the back behind the wall okay um okay so then i'm gonna okay i'm gonna try to find a way on the other side of the wall I guess we're going to try to find a door or something. So you look down and you see that the only exit on the ground level mm. was where the uh, whoever these guys are were coming through. Yeah. Looking up, you do see that this wall that um, you're next to has a lip at the top. Okay. So you think that there might be a way up that way, possibly. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna continue up the the ladder to see uh what else there is further up. Cool. Uh, roll a d8 for me. Seven. Cool. So you easily enough with an agility you didn't know you had. Jump from one bar over to the ladder and everything like that. Um, as you're doing that, uh, one of the lights lands on you. And then you hear someone from the group say, Sir, one of them is still alive. And then another one responds, Kill it! And then they all just start firing at you. Oh gosh, okay, cool. I'm going to try to dodge as much as I can in this tiny closed area. Um, and I'm going to try to, like, um, just pop out on the, the closest kind of, um, next opening, I guess. Cool. Uh, roll a d10 for me. Ah, that's a one. So one of the bullets does manage to graze you across the arm, but you get up onto the you get up onto the highest, most platform, and that just seems to be like a chair. You know, essentially the captain's chair that looks out down. Ah, okay. But behind this chair, you can see that the uh, the wall. Um, uh, over the lip and you can see almost to the whole back of the ship it's a very like open plan it's basically the ship is just a shell and then on the inside there is um, all the rooms the best way you can think of it is like a forest so they're all um, up on these uh, giant pillars which fan out onto the platforms which the room is on and they're all different levels. Uh, okay. And are they not connected? If, if monkeys build a spaceship. Uh, oh, they're all, of course. There's all these like, ropes and ladders and bars and swing from room to room and things. Oh, crazy. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So what I'm first going to do is I'm I'm up there. I'm going to look for things, just anything that's kind of near me, to just throw down the ladder chute, like in the chute. Just if anyone's coming up, it'll hopefully just stop them. Yeah, you see they're all trying to... And these ladders aren't designed for humans to climb up. Mm -hmm. so they're very 
I also said they've actually got to like boost each other up to actually get to the bottom rung and everything like that. Yeah, I'm gonna look but for like a mug be... or something. Yeah, there's like debris. <laughs> debris from the ceiling has fallen down and like some bars that you can probably yep. javelin. I'm just gonna just throw things in there. Just anything I can find near me. Staplers in space, mugs, papers, the chair, just down this chute. Chair seems to be pretty well secured to the platform, so okay, I, cool. yeah. I try it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I throw the chair. No. <laughs> um, alright. Okay. Um Let's go D eight. The D eight. That's a little better. Seven. Yeah, you find a bunch of just random pieces of metal that you can like lob down to them. Nice. You manage um, to like one in the head. It doesn't really do a lot of damage, it just like, irritates them a bit. Uh okay. I'm gonna just like look down uh uh, are any of them like looking up? Because if so, I'm gonna like wave at them. Yeah, they're like... looking up. And they're still like trying to shoot at you whenever you like pop your head oh, out or anything. Okay, well, rude. Um, <laughs> did not ask for that. Um, okay, I am gonna try to. I'm gonna have a look, like a survey around the area to see if there's any, um, any kind of lit up consoles. If there's any way that I can kind of lock other doors or other areas. Um, at the buttons. moment, the only thing that's on this kind of like floating platform that you're on is just like the chair. Right. Um. Okay. All the consoles that you'd think would probably do something were lower down. Right. Um, I can't get out of this level unless I go through the ladder again, can't I? No, you can jump over onto the lip. The board. other. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Let's do that. I'm gonna do that. Cool. Roll a d6. Oh, hard jump. Especially for a monkey. That's a six. Without issue. Just... Um, so now you're on the, the top lip of the wall and you can basically go to any um, of these tower rooms. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to try to make my way to where I roughly thought the med bay was. Shimmy around yeah, there. That was that, yeah, that was like um, halfway down the ship. Alright. Uh, I'm going to try to go across the platforms then to see if I can find another way to get down onto the next level. Yeah, so all these um, tree-like metal structures uh they've got the pillar that holds up the uh, room and the pillars have like um hand holds kind of like carved into them and then on the underside of the platforms there are more like ropes and stuff so if you wanted to get from the like room level down to the ground level swing down and then climb your way down essentially yeah, okay, cool. So it'd be like a kind of like bouldering, if you will. Uh, except for there's also swing, like rope swings through like rock climbing and everything. Um, yep. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do like a backflip for style. So I'm going to like look at a rope that's kind of near me uh, and I'm going to try to grab onto the rope and then use my momentum from the jump to swing off the rope, do a backflip. Uh, and then attempt to uh, land a grab, like a grip on the wall that I'm heading closer to. D12. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, just a simple yeah. swing would be in like D6, but you know. Ah, no, we go crazy. We go crazy. It's not bad. It's not bad. Eight. You, uh, yeah, you do. Crazy monk shit. Somehow. <laughs> what you get for being a monkey? <laughs> uh, yes. You. So where where exactly were you heading? Were you going to staying up on these 
Or did you want to get down to the ground level? Uh, I'm trying to get down to the ground level. My, my goal is to try to head to the, the like the children kind of childcare center. Yep. I'm going down. So you flip and you twist and you do all this crazy stuff and you land down the perfect 10 landing. The, the pose then, and everything? Yep. Yep. You're just like, why did I do that? <laughs> Muscle memory. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, so yeah, now you can basically make your way through the uh, forest or something. Yep, okay, cool. So, yeah, so I'm going to make my way through. Um, I should have looked for something. Um, is there... What what can I see, like, around rubble and everything? Or is there any markers on the wall? Or um, <clears throat> There are, like, um, yeah, markers on each, like, of the pillars. It, like, says what room it's in. But, again, you don't actually read this language, so you don't know what it says. And you also see more um, bodies of... Of my comrades. Yeah. But also not my comrades. Um, okay, I'm gonna... I see more bodies, right? I'm on the ground level. Can I please uh, search those bodies to see if there's anything on them? Sure. Or D4. Two. Um... Not much. There's just uh, like ID badges. I might nick them anyway. I might need them. I'm gonna take the name badges. Uh, once again, I can't read the language, can I? No. Is there like a photo? It's just got his picture. Yeah. Nice. I was gonna say, is it like one of the photo ID badges? Now, uh, can I hold like all of them up together? Now, do they look any different, or do they all look the same? There are. I mean. Roll a d8. Ooh. <laughs> um. Oh gosh. Where did I? I just had my d already. That's a one. I need a different d8. What do I get? Another one? There's another one. We'll use that one from now on. They look exactly the same. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, perfect. No difference. None um. <laughs> All right. Um, I am going to. Have, have I gone like further around, or like, am I on the same level as the the guys from before? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna be stealthy. Uh, cool. So I'm gonna stealth the opposite way down the corridor than what where they are. Cool. Go a D10. Eight. You think that you're stealthy. Cool. I'll take a note of that. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep kind of stealthing down the hallway, checking in at each room as I'm going, um, to see if I'm going roughly the right way. So you don't see. So down on the floor level. There's not like doors or anything to look into the rooms. There's just the pillars that move, go up to okay. the room. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Then what so I'll do is to, I'll... To um, basically determine how you would get there from remembering where the schematic is, you would basically need to like count. Like, okay, these are the quarters. I'll move forward. Like these ones with these ones. Uh, okay. So the one that I'm at at the moment, what I might do is I might go up to check what it is to get my grounding. Um, and then from there, I should be able to figure out how many numbers it is to get to the uh, to the med bay. <coughs> so I'm gonna climb up the one I'm near. Cool. Uh, see if you can climb it. So roll the eight. Yep. That is a six. Cool, without issue, you manage to climb up there with your... Being a monkey. Being a monkey. Is there anything in there? Uh, you go in there and you're actually in somebody's living quarters. Oh. It's like a 
There's like a hammock. Oh, nice. What do these living quarters look like? So there's like a hammock. They're like a little kitchen. Yeah, yeah there's like a little um, kitchen kind of thing. It's got like a bowl of what could be fruit, but you've never really seen these types of things before. Gonna grab something out of the fruit bowl and just take a good old, good old bite out of it. It's very sweet. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, I'm wearing like a jumpsuit of some sort. Oh, I'm not wearing anything. No, you're wearing like a uniform kind of thing. Correct. Okay, cool. Uh, I might. What I might do is I might grab. Are these like? Are these fruits like mushy at all? Or is it like an apple? Yeah, it's like apple-y. Yeah, okay. I might grab a couple of them and shove them into my pockets. You know, just to snack on the go. Sure. Uh, yep. Um, and I'm going to kind of... What I'm going to do is... Um, is there any, like, panels or anything in this room that I'd be able to kind of determine where I am? Like a map or anything? It's like, are you a here sign? Yeah, yeah. I would love that. Like, you know, fire escape... <laughs> Uh, you know, the fire escape signs that they have yep. usually in every room? Uh, no, you don't really seem to see one of those oh, in here. Damn. <laughs> okay. I thought they would have been cleverer in space. <laughs> it's fine. Um, alright, okay, what I'm gonna do, uh, is... There's no one up here? No bodies or anything? Uh, no. Okay. Um, are there any photos? Uh, do you want to search the room? I'm gonna search the room. How thoroughly do you want to search? I will take my time searching this room. I you think I'm do. quite quiet, so I think I... Sure. Yeah. So you can choose which star to use. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm going to use a D8. That seems to be rolling the best for me tonight. For that, yeah. That's a, that's a seven. Uh, you do find, um, some photos and some objects that, I mean, they could be, like, trophies or something like that, but, yeah, on design, you've never seen anything like it before. Hmm. Uh, so there are... A lot, a lot of other, like, memorabilia stuff, like a, a like a book kind of thing. I'm gonna, kind of thing. I'm gonna, like, open the book just to see if there's anything, like embedded in the pages or if it's just writing it's just writing ah, okay uh, I'd take it with me too <laughs> just like <laughs> I just have like a backpack with just filled with shit um <laughs> find a backpack in there and you can fill your shit with it yeah I love it so good <laughs> um okay so what I'm gonna do with this um is from here I'm gonna like peek back out before I kind of climb down. Is there anything happening? Uh, yeah, you peek back out and you see the um, military spacemen um, walking through slowly. The flashlights on their machine guns, scanning everywhere. Cool. I'm yeah. gonna be so quiet and just wait for them to pass. I'm gonna duck my head back in. Gonna elevator music it while we wait. Just <laughs> smooth jazz. Just watching the dudes pass. Do they? Do they? Are they gonna try to climb up here? Uh, you don't seem to think that they. It doesn't seem to look like they're climbing. Okay, cool. But once you're on like a platform where the thing is, because it like goes under down to the thing. If they were to go underneath, you've lost sight of them. Mm. So you don't know what they're doing under there. Okay, very okay, fair. Um, can I get to another platform from here? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. What I might do is I might There's try to... Like yeah, is I might try to um, grapple onto a rope to swing up to the, the next platform. They're all at like different levels as well. They're not like all at the same level. They're all like... Yeah. Yeah, so I might have to climb up higher and climb a little bit lower for some of them. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go to the one, so the same direction that I was going, but I'm just going to go over to the next, the next one. Cool. Or D8 for me. 
five. Yeah, you managed to get over to the it was a uh, one that was like kind of lower down. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, and what's in this one? What's on this one? This is a someone else's living quarters. These first yeah. like few like rows seem to be a lot of living quarters. Okay, cool. Or I'm the... just gonna keep continuing along until I find something that's not living quarters. Cool. All right. Uh, roll another d8. Four. Yeah. <clears throat> Spend like 10, 20 minutes. During this time, you're having. You feel like a weird um, palpitation in your heart that gives you pause for a minute. It just like catches you off guard. You're just like, oh, that was weird. Take a minute to like uh, catch your breath again. Then it kind of goes away. And then you carry on your way. And you make your way to the entrance of another room. As you see this room, a memory triggers for you. And I think I've lost you again. Is no, that? I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Video is disappearing. <laughs> um, uh, so this memory isn't yours. This hmm. actually seems to be a memory from the body that you're inhabiting. Um, you see yourself hugging a small child. So an even smaller blue monkey. And you are saying, it's okay, son. We're almost at our new home. Everything will be all right. And he smiles at you trusting you unconditionally and you rub your cheeks together and then you let him go and push him gently into a room where there are dozens of other children playing and reading some are chatting away others are crying there are a couple of adults there trying to wrangle them all together not the younglings anything but the younglings um okay i uh... Oh, I know. Oh no. Um, cool. I'm gonna go into the into the room. Yeah, this room does seem to be the same one from that memory, and it is dark. There's a couple of adult bodies lying on the ground. You don't seem to see any children anywhere, though. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm gonna look around for like a marker or something on the ground, like. A Something I can write on a wall with. Uh, roll a d10. I don't even try. That's a one. <laughs> yeah, you don't see anything in the ground. Right. Yeah, There's nothing. nothing. Okay. It's all alien to you. Yeah. You know, you Fair. Um, alright. So I know that I'm close to... I gotta be getting closer to the med bay. Um, alright. So, from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, check out again to see where the military is. Is there anywhere nearby? Um, you do see them. You basically... When you were swinging, because they're going very slowly and, like, methodically, mm. but when you were swinging, over to get to the where you are now, you actually overtook them. Oh, sweet! So you, you look back and you see that they're still, still making their way, yeah. making their way downtown. Okay. Yeah. Um. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep keep going forward away from them. Um. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I'm gonna kind of like climb up, um, and just get up to the, go up, m more than go more further down. Go to the higher... The high rooms. ground, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Just chuck in as many Star Wars references. Yes, as, as many as we can. We'll see what, see what we can do. We should have a counter. Um, okay. 
So, D8. Oh, <laughs> fuck. That's a one. Uh, no issues getting there. So you get up to the uh, high room. Is there anyone here? This one seems to be a um, a double kind of room. So it's actually like two of the pillars are holding up the entire long platform. Oh wow! Whereas yep. it used to be the platform pillar, so now there's two connecting. And yep. And you see, you walk in here, and it's a um, <clears throat> basically a large the uh, mess area. So dining tables everywhere for like people to eat in and then connected to that you would assume would be a kitchen um all right i'm gonna check to see if anyone's there and then i'm gonna go into the kitchen too to see if anyone's there searching for people there right are now. Few, yeah there are a few dead bodies in here well, shucks. Um, I guess then I'm gonna look for a knife so I have some sort of protection. Uh, roll a d6. Five. Yeah, you find knives. Awesome. I will then add them, I'll, like open up the jacket and like slip them in. Like then I can like sell them on the black market later on. We'll see what happens. Sure. Yep. Awesome. Um, so I've got my knives now. Uh, and from here around me, um, I haven't even checked to see if there's, is there any sort of escape pods or anything? You... Have I passed anything? You did see on the schematic right at the very back of the ship. Hmm. There is a <clears throat> essentially the um, like the hangar area, okay. and there were they looked like there were like little escape pod icons on there possibly. Okay, okay cool. Um, cool. I'm gonna keep attempting to head to the med bay. Um, just assuming that I'm going the right way. <laughs> And I'm gonna like look around for a pillar that might be like uh like not as large as the one that I'm in, but larger than the um than the ones that hold just like living quarters. Sure. Uh roll a d4. That is a three. You see one. I'm going oh, no. for it. Probably the next room. I'm going for it. Alright, roll a TA. Alright. <coughs> That's another one. Damn it. What are I wrong? <laughs> Alright, you can do a bad issue. Oh my god. Yeah! Yes, so good. <laughs> yeah! Um, okay, is there. What's here? Uh, a med bay. Oh, med bay. Thank gosh. Alright, I'm gonna walk around and see if there's anything that I can think of that might relate, like any rats or anything that might relate to my experiment that I was working on. Uh, as you look around, they don't seem... This is very... I mean, it's still dark. The emergency lights are on. But it's very clean and sterile looking area and there doesn't seem to be any cages or anything like that All right. <clears throat> uh... as you're looking around you feel another weird palpitation in your chest and it was worse this time it actually caused you to like lean against something and stay for a good minute hmm. alright I'm gonna like undo like my like jumpsuit and see if there's anything like on my chest no you don't see any markings or anything like that yeah. weird um 
All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search the med bay. Specific, ah, uh, I'm gonna have no idea what I'm grabbing. Just for any sort of needles filled with concoctions. Oh. <laughs> How thoroughly do you want to search? I, I'm gonna search very thoroughly. So you can pick. Um, so like, can I do a d20? Sure. Why not? It'll, it'll, it'll be a very thorough, time-consuming search. That's fine. They're slow. <laughs> That's a 19. Hmm. Alright, you do find uh, like surgical gear, so like scalpel, cling, forceps. I've been watching a lot of MASH lately, so I've known all these terms. Nice, yes. <laughs> Solid. Uh, and yeah, yeah, you do find a bunch of. The syringes aren't filled with anything. But you do find empty syringes and little vials of something. Don't know what. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. I'm gonna like get rid of one of the uh, space apples, uh, and then in that pocket that I'm removing the space apple from, I'm gonna eat that space apple while I jam the syringes and the uh, the concoctions into my pocket. Sure. Um. Awesome. Uh, and then, uh, is there any control, like, con <clears throat> uh, control center or anything here? Um, yeah, there seems to be, like, this, um, platform, like a bed kind of thing. And there's, like, you know, um, buttons and, like, uh, display units all around that. And then there's over on the other wall, there's more. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna push some buttons. See what we can make this puppy do. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I want to do some sort of med scan. Alright. <laughs> Roll a D20. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Eleven. Yeah, Somehow, the, uh, the, body <laughs> oh, shit. That, the body that you're in just takes over, and you just start pressing buttons, you just turn the thing on, lights up, and it's got like a little counter, like, oh, okay, cool, sit, light, you know, like, lie up down in the bed, and then this light just kind of like, goes around you, and then like, up on the display unit, uh, um, little statistics and everything come up about like, there's like little words in green, little words in orange. Anything in red. One, there is one thing in red that's pointing right to your heart. Ah, that can't be good. That cannot be good. <sighs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get off the bed. Um, and I'm going to feel like I've made enough noise that there's a high possibility they're going to hear me. So I'm gonna try to get up on top of uh, on top of something or even if I can climb up to the next climb up higher um, to the next kind of platform. Okay. Um, roll the D 10. Eight. So as you're walking out of this door, you hear um, sounds coming from underneath this platform. Uh, I need to move and I need to move fast. Um, so what I'm going to do is, can I like look over the edge and see, like as stealthy as I can, <laughs> plop my head over the edge to see if I can see them? Oh, what is it? Three. <coughs> um... 
Yeah, so you kind of like wrap your tail around something, like a little handrail, which for them is probably a tail rail. Yeah. Yeah. And hang yourself upside down so you can look under. And you do see one lone uh, military spaceman climbing his way under using the ropes to climb coming straight towards you. He didn't see you or anything like that because he's focused on climbing. (laughs) Well, dude, yeah, Yeah. we weren't expecting this either. Um, Too much exercise. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of the syringes from my pocket and fill it with uh, one of the vials that I found. I'm going to brace for him to come up and just like inject him with it. Sure. So you're going to hide somewhere first? Yep. Alright. Um, go D8. No, I'm not rolling that one. I don't trust that one. Five. Uh, cool. So you do you go back inside the uh, yep. medical... Right, so you scoot back inside there and hide in the low light. Hide. Yep. yep. <clears throat> I wait there for a couple minutes, and you eventually see like the the light of his flashlight coming through the door. They're like sneaking in, gaining the room. He hasn't seen you yet. So as he's like brushed over the area that I am at and then surveyed kind of around, I'm going to like duck out from behind it and start kind of sneaking towards him um, just in the the darkness. Uh, And then like just as he goes to scan back, I want to like grab, like jump at him and just inject him with whatever I have on me. You're a D12. Whoop. Let's roll it in the rolling tray. It's an eight. All right. Yep. So you, with your little tiny legs, manage to jump up onto his back, and you find like a soft spot in like the uh, suit that he's wearing, in like the neck area, and just jab. And he's just like, "Fuck is this?" like starts like spinning around and trying to push you off uh roll the d8 for me five you managed to hang on grind him like a rancor nice yes (laughs) we can add that to the tally um okay uh yeah i'm uh, Okay, I, yeah, I'm just gonna like hold on until, um, until he either flings me off or he passes out. Alright, uh, roll a d10. Just get harder and harder. Yep. It's a four. Uh, you almost lose your grip. You like lose one hand off, but you still manage to hold on with one the other hand. Because <clears throat> uh, as he starts like basically backing you up into a wall. Yep. But you still manage to hang on. Cool. I'm gonna wrap my arm around his neck and like just try to choke hold him. Cool. <laughs> All right. Let's go D12. <laughs> yep. That is um so no change in either of you. He's still thrashing around, you're still hanging on. Jeez. Alright. Uh I'm just gonna I'm gonna question him while I've got him. I'm gonna try to 
verbally talk to him to see what comes out. Um, what are you doing here? As you talk, <clears throat> the words you're saying do in a fashion come out. This mouth and tongue and everything that you've been, you're in doesn't seem to be quite used to the vowels and the consonants and the movements of the words that you're speaking. But it still, still comes out. <clears throat> As you say this, he just like suddenly just stops. And he's just like, wait, you can speak English? Yes, yes I can. How? Look, I'll, I'll give you as many answers as I can if you put down your weapon, sir. I want no blood here. Drops his uh, machine gun. Oh, I'll jump off. Put my hands up to show that I'm. Just, I mean no harm. Um. Look, I I woke up here in the in the middle of all of this debacle. I've got no idea what's going on, but all I know is that I'm not originally from here. I am originally. I used to be a doctor, you see, in the medical profession. I was also human, so I don't understand how I got here. Uh huh. And you expect me to believe that from an alien? As you can say, I am talking to you. I don't believe these aliens could have talked previously. You seem pretty surprised that I can speak. Uh, what, what, what would you like to know? I, I've only got minimal, minimal thoughts. What I can tell you is, I had a husband. He was beautiful. Um, no longer here. Don't know where he is. I, I have these ID badges. I found them. Uh, I also found uh, a schematic of the ship. It also helped me. Look, there's only so many things I can really share with you. I also don't know why I'm here. He just like stands there like confused. Um, I... Don't know what to do with this information. Neither do I. Ah, I also found there was an interesting man, and he was like, "Ah, oh, Earth welcomes you." Uh first, first sign of extraterrestrial life, and then I, everybody's dead. And I'm like, "Well, this was this is very peaceful, very peaceful." <clears throat> um, he relaxes a bit and he uh, pushes a button somewhere on his helmet or something like that and like um, these lights so at the moment it's like all dark inside and these lights turn on on the inside of his helmet and when you see his face a, another memory comes back to you and you remember back when you were human, uh, you were waking up alone in your bed and you hear voices coming from downstairs. Uh, so you make your way down and you find Marcus in his study talking to someone on his computer. Um, you creep up to the doorway, not wanting to disturb him, but there is something about the conversation that is intriguing to you. And so you peek your head around and you see Marcus facing away from you and he's looking at his computer and on the computer see, screen you see a face. Um, you see the face of President Hutchinson, the man from the hologram earlier. Mm. And he's in the middle of talking to Marcus and he's saying, It will be just like last time, Major. Don't leave any survivors. Obtain whatever technology you can salvage. And you are horrified by what you hear. And you start to think about what you should do. And you need to warn them. But there's no way you can talk to them. No communication or anything from them. 
But there is only one way that you can think about, and that is by transporting your consciousness to them. But you don't know what will happen if you try to enter a living body, and it's never been attempted by a human, but it's the only chance that you've got. And you see when this marine spaceman guy turned the lights on in his helmet, you see your husband. Okay, awesome. Great. Terrifying. Um, wait a minute. And, yeah, sorry. And another, another um, palpitation in your heart happens, and you fall down to the ground. Heavy breathing for a good two minutes. So, are you good down there? I don't know. It's, uh, there's something wrong. I, you see, I'm gonna like look back up, look back up from the ground. You see, I, I was a medical professional in the field, and what I used to, what I used to study was. Taking people's subconscious and putting them into other creatures, and the thing that I find so fascinating about it is that it plays with the with the with the rights of humanity, and with humanity, you never know where the line is to some extent. And I guess what I'm saying is, Marcus, why would you come up here to kill all of these aliens? What did they ever do to you? I'm just gonna like deadpan. He, he um, you notice that he actually has like a handgun, like on his uh, like strapped to his leg, and he like starts to slowly pull that out. He's just like, "How do you know my name?" Would you really want to kill your wife, Marcus? Come on, I've known you for years. Point the gun at you. I'm just like, you are definitely not my wife. Interesting. Have you not questioned where I've been all this time? Why I haven't been able to contact you? I've been off world for. She was <clears throat> at home last time I checked. I was in the lab. Where I usually am. I heard you in the study and I was very much against it. I did not want to hurt these creatures. And in order to help them, the only thing I could do is to try to become one of them and become some sort of prophet to try to help them. What did you do? How did you get here? Look, I can tell you that as as I've previously discussed with our, with my medical tests that once the once the mind is transferred into the creature it doesn't last long. I have a feeling that that's a possibility is what what is happening here. Yes. Evelyn did tell me that the rats didn't survive for long. But if it is you... Does the use like, of my name click anything? Uh, yeah, it basically like... Uh, just a um, general sense of, yes, that is who I am. It's like you know yourself again kind of thing. No real new memories or anything like that. It's just like a sense of self. And he just like, he's like confused and like frustrated and just like. I'm gonna like pick myself up a little bit and slide back so I'm like leading on something. Just like. <clears throat> I don't. Why? You're going to die now. Why would you do this? Because they didn't deserve it. Why would you do this? We don't know them. They're just aliens. I was just doing 
There's no difference the with the line of humanity. Like, there's no difference between them and us. We're both equally insane. <laughs> Um, these palpitations that you're having, this last one hasn't really seemed to cease. Mm. It just seems to be lingering and growing worse. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull uh, the syringe, another syringe out of my pocket, but I'm going to grab the same concoction that I gave to him before, uh, and I'm going to pull a bit of it and just stab myself in the leg with it. What was that? I'm just... At this stage, we just need to test something to stop these heart palpitations. Wait, did you stab me with something? Oh, yes, for sure. I have no idea what it is. Can you read this language? I cannot. Oh, the needle might actually... I, I think it's still in there, Marcus. You might want to... <laughs> just see this, like, hanging ah. out of his... Oh boy. We just have a time, don't we? He just like drops his gun, drops the syringe, and he kind of just like goes over and sits down next to you and just like sits you up onto his lap and just like kind of like hugs you from behind. Well, I guess if we're both gonna die. We can do it together. Together would be nice, but I don't think it's your time yet, Marcus. Well, well whatever the hell you stab me with will kill me. Well, it we'll should it should come into fruition. I'm gonna look at my imaginary watch uh, and be like, uh, it should come in to fruition in about a uh, minute's time, roughly. I, I have no idea. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Gave you a lot of it, though. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry that you, that I put you in this position, that you felt like you had to be. I ask for one thing, Marcus. If I don't die, sure. You don't die. I want you to get out of here. And I don't want you killing any other extraterrestrial life again. I want you to fight for them, Marcus gonna put her hand on his on his mask I promise good and start to feel very sleepy yeah pressure in your chest starts to get unbearable Whatever this drug is that you put into yourself possibly seems to be working as you start, the pain seems to be going and you seem to be just drifting off into a nice peaceful sleep. That is the goal, Marcus. <laughs> the hand slips away. And then... Then he goes in his best Darth Vader impression. No. <laughs> and that's where it was nice. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it. Um, oh my gosh. Wow. That ended not how I expected it was, but cool. <laughs> now question. Yes. What did I inject him with? Oh, I don't know. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, gosh, concentrated morphine. He's gone too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The chat is so cute, though. People are like, whoa, what a twist. Oh, my gosh. Moral mic drop. Morale. <laughs> morale mic drop. Someone's like, I just, I just want them to live happily ever after. <laughs> you injected him with polio. Yes, of course. Wow. Of course, dead Aussie gamer. How did you know? Um, a monkey. Thing. 
Yeah, right. I enjoy, yeah, with the monkey fluid. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was amazing. How do you um so because you still have it in in like you're still testing it out and everything. How does it how do you determine not necessarily Yeah, how do you determine what gets rolled to an extent? Um well, it's basically like um, any kind of skill check. So if you like want to see something, it's like a perception check, or if you want to do self, like a self check, kind of like the same principles. Mm. And then it's just like, I just determined it's like, oh, this would probably be easy for like, like I want to see what's over there. I mean, just like, just look over there. It seems pretty easy for the D4, but that kind of thing. Mm. So just like that. Yeah, the yeah. More trickier ones are like the, uh, the like combat -y kind of ones. Yeah, yeah, especially like determining how 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 do fails work? Because you also roll on some of my skill checks. Yeah, and so some of them. Um, so like in that when you were hanging on, one of those rolls is I think it was like the D twelve. Mm. You got two, I got an eleven. Mm. So it basically just cancels itself out because it's like right in the middle. So mm. that's sort of like nobody wins either way okay. so you can't yeah so it's stalemates yeah kind of okay yeah fair okay cool but then like you that. know when when you were in the um in the child care center you were like searching for something and you rolled a one i rolled a two so i'm just like yeah she finds shit there's she find nothing the, uh, there the secret compartment with all the children in it <laughs> what i was gonna do was i was just gonna draw <laughs> arrows on the wall being like ah heading this way <laughs> just turning them around <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's, that's what my goal was. How was it playing with someone that has never played before? Was it any different? Uh, well, no, all the other players haven't really played this before either, so. But that, that was good. That Pretty was fun. good. I did. I really, really liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, everybody in chat's like, thank you for the journey. Yeah, um, guys, this is, this will, like, we're getting to the stage where this will be every Wednesday night in Australia. So, as we get there. So, like, if anyone, like, I see Do Dead Aussie, I see Dag in the chat. So, Dag, if you are keen, uh, let us know. And, you know, maybe eventually we'll get, we'll get you on here. Um, Especially, like, Aaron, you keep changing themes. Like, it's, it's never the same. Do you have a favorite yeah. theme? Um, I guess fantasy is probably the easiest because it's just so mm -hmm. mainstream. These days. So much you can do with this it. This one was actually really tricky to like nail down because I had like an idea that was more like spacecrafty, like, mm. like space starcrafty. Mm. I was going to be like a Zerg or something like that. But yeah. I just like, it kind of just morphed into this. It was like, all right. Yeah. Blue <laughs> aliens. I thought of Avatar. And I was like, because cause of the, the Avatar, like, um, not Avatar last name, but Avatar with the, the blue, blue creatures. Aliens, yeah. yeah, yeah. All I think of is, yeah, the, the for some reason, all I thought of was, like, blue monkeys. I went to that and I went to Beast from X-Men. What I had in mind was, <laughs> have you seen the, the Lost in Space movie? Yeah. The one with, like, Matt LeBlanc, whatever he's like? Yeah. You know that little orange oh, thing? Oh, no. Like, or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Oh. That's, <laughs> that's great too oh my gosh just made it blue. <laughs> oh i love it so much yeah just made it blue that's so cool i love that so much um i guess uh i, I want i'll ask you one more question and then you could then then we can close it up um where did you come up with the idea for amnesia uh hmm, that's a good question um I think I just wanted to make something um, different and that you could do, like, I like this whole one-on-one -on -one thing because I didn't, like, if I was going to do, like, a big group thing, I would want it to be, like, all in person around the table. I don't like the idea. Well, I mean, it does work, but it's you'd lose a lot of connection when there's, like, a lot of people. On Talking over each other and everything, too. Yeah. So I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to do just, like, a one-on-one -on -one thing. And then I'm just like, well, how do you make that more interesting and change things up? So I didn't want it to be like a whole campaign with just one person. Just yeah. Ridiculous. Well, so. it would really test you as a D, like a DMGM too, because you've got to constantly 
come up with different alternatives in different settings too. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's so cool. Uh, I think, yeah, I think, I think what you're doing is amazing. Um, and I think it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and as yeah. for the uh, actual like um, dice rolling system, I want it to be like super simple to learn. So yeah. So it's just you don't need snappy. Rule book to learn. It's like you literally learn it in like the two minute video that I have on YouTube. It's like they're done. You know it. You can play it. You can jam it yourself if you really wanted to. Yeah, I love that. I think it's so cool. Um, awesome. I'll I'll stop asking you questions and you can do your little spiel if you want. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Um, um, thank you, everyone who has watched. Um, and thank you, Atlanta, for playing and being a good sport. Anytime. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for having me. Cool. So I guess we will see you next week, maybe. If not, the week Should after, be. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be on our social medias at Level Up TTV, and it'll also be on yours over at Woodcarver Gaming too. Um, yeah. So You're definitely. Much at things than I am. Hmm? You're much better at plugging things than I am. <laughs> My job. <laughs> you get used to it. Um, but yeah, definitely, it's it's on our social medias. Um, and yeah, d definitely check it all out. We've got a couple other episodes, I think too. I think I've got the one from last week. Um. Yeah. I'll put all mine up on YouTube anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You search Amnesia TTRPG on YouTube. You Thumbs up. It. I love yeah. it. I think it's so good. Ooh. Cool. Awesome. Thank you very much. Well, we'll hopefully we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.